So I've drawn these laid lines, which is the decoration, which goes behind everything. Now, of course, you can draw straight over the top of whatever feature you're doing or leaves, because this is all going to be stitched heavily over the top and just these lines will show, which will give you a result like this. So this is all a single thread laid over the top of the linen and then couched down. It's dead easy and it's great fun. So to work out where you're going to put the lines, use the ridges in the linen for you. Now, if you're using <clears throat> a different uh, type of fabric that you might have, if you haven't got any linen that's got a twill in it, just measure out the, the side and just measure out that gap and put another one in. It really won't matter if it's irregular, if it's, you know, this is not a time for perfection. This is just for fun. And whoever gets this, or if you keep it yourself, you'll love it when it's all finished. So the next thing I'm going to look at is these gaps are seven ridges. I'm going from here to here and I'm into the valley. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and draw it. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it always looks too big, that gap compared to the next one, but just believe in it. And then take a rule or um, the edge of a piece of kitchen equipment, anything you can do to draw a straight line and just gently let your uh, pen, this is an HB pen, just angle at 45 degrees and just stroke down. I think that's a pencil, Philippa. <laughs> it's a pencil. <laughs> of course it is a pencil. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> right, you can just shut up now, Richard, while we just carry on. <laughs> it doesn't need to be as heavily marked as I've marked it here. I've just done it like that so you can see it. You can just do it very lightly, and but just make the dot at each end quite heavy, okay? And I just put a light line in. Now, when you have... Uh, when you've drawn right the way across the piece, all the way down, you then need to think about creating the opposite angle. Now, some people like putting diamonds in uh, with their laden couch work, but actually I prefer squares because there's far more variety in a square. Now, if you take the top of these dots as your starting point this actually might be jolly helpful when you work the opposite direction but to get the angle you need to take a piece of paper lay it along that line and then find the angle so do you see that's on a dot there and that's on the top dot there and don't start on a small piece because you can get far more uh, guidance from a smaller one and then just take your pencil and just draw along that bit there so I'm showing you slightly upside down to me and of course we're not in a hurry to do any of this so uh, you know you can take your time to be honest it's rather nice so draw that in and that begins the lines on the opposite direction. And again, take that to the corner there, put it there, and this should be okay. If you're a perfectionist, you can measure that gap at the top and the bottom if you want to, that one and this one, but I'm not. So I'm just going to put this in and I can tell you the person who receives this will love it that I've made something unique for them. So, you can see that that's going to progress and you will end up with this.